Welcome back. All right. So, uh, Monday, August 28th, another news of the day video for all you fine people on the internet. Close things out today. I don't think anything big's going to happen after this. And if it does, I'll do a video on that as well. But uh, we'll start off talking about professional tryouts. Yes, it is that time of year where players who are not under contract sign the professional uh, tryouts to try to earn themselves a contract with the National Hockey League team. Starting with Yoel Kiviranta. Uh, Kiviranta signs a tryout with Colorado. Uh, he, of course, having played his entire career in Dallas to this to this point, at least his National Hockey League career. Uh, Kiviranta coming off of a down year with Dallas last year, but still solid depth player. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he does in Colorado should he sign a contract there. Uh, as a bottom six forward, I think he's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully he, he signs a contract with them. Uh, Sam Gagne, it feels like it's, what, his fourth go-around? I know, I think it's only his third, but it does feel like Gagne circles back. He circles back to Edmonton, and he's circling back again. Uh, has signed a tryout with the Oilers. We'll see if he gets there. Of course, last week, uh, Brandon Sutter uh, getting the tryout, which I think has become official. I think today they made it official official, but yeah, Brandon Sutter getting a tryout, as well as Sam Gagne, the Oilers, just trying to shore up some depth. And we'll see if either Gagne or Sutter end up getting a contract from the Edmonton Oilers for this season. One blast from the past, Corey Conacher. Yeah, I saw this and I was like, is that for real? And yep, I double-checked it is. Uh, he has signed a professional tryout with the Car Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, Conacher last played in the NHL the 2019-2020 season. I seem to remember having him on some of my NHL teams on the EA Sports NHL games and liking him. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, he has an AHL contract with the Chicago Wolves. So one question I get from Carolina fans is, so what's going to happen with the AHL players this year? Uh, with the prospects, you can either have them in juniors, you can have them play over in Europe, and with veteran players, you can send them to the Wolves. The Wolves are just an independent team. Uh, so one thing that's going to change is you won't be able to tell them what to do, but you can still assign players there. So that's likely what's going to happen. And Conacher having a contract with the Chicago Wolves, don't be surprised if you see still some form of a relationship between the two and then other players get loaned out to other organizations, AHL teams. It is not ideal for Carolina, but you can get over that for a year. There's teams that have gone through a year of not having an AHL affiliation. I seem to remember the Canucks having that issue at one point. It does happen. Uh, so I wanted to report on this because it's kind of fun. So Jason Demers retired. And he made his debut today on NHL Tonight on the NHL Network. So good on him. Uh, he makes his debut. Apparently was nervous going into that. And so all the best to him on his broadcasting career getting started. And then if you've been interested in the Women's League, there will be an announcement tomorrow regarding the six franchises which have already dubbed themselves the original six. Uh, so the PWHL is set to start with teams in Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, uh, New York, Minnesota, and Boston comprising the three American franchises. So Minnesota is pretty far away from everybody else. Uh, you will notice that, yeah, the Connecticut team is not there. And this is where you start. You start with six. And then if this league is working, then you build your way up to eight. And you build to ten. And I, ideally, I think the league would like to see, you know, more than six. But you start with six. You try to make sure it's it's something you can maintain. Uh, the actual player draft is set for September 18th, and it's kind of a mix between a draft and just signing players. Uh, there is the allowance for teams to sign players as of September the 1st. So they'll be announcing all the teams tomorrow um, and coming up with all the branding and everything in the coming weeks, uh, at least revealing it publicly. I'm sure they already have it all set up. Uh, but free agency starts September the 1st. Every team is allowed to sign uh, three players, maximum of three players, and then all the rest that are undrafted then go into the, the pool for the draft. And then anybody who's not taken in those 15 rounds of the draft is a free agent and they can go to tryouts and all this. So we'll see how it all turns out. Uh, they, they seem to have a plan and an organization scheme in mind. So this is where we're starting. Uh, there will be other teams that I would be, I, I'm sure they'll add in the coming years, but you want to start with six healthy franchises first and then build your way up. That is the best way to build league. So 
All the best to them. We'll see how it turns out. I'll be here to report on whatever happens. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.